we are moving now. Maryland now has a COVID-19 fraud strike task force charged with enhancing investigations into those who stole pandemic relief funds. The fraud is broad, widespread and international. Um, you know, we're talking about billions upon billions of relief. So, you know, if you take a fraction of that, you know, we may be talking about upwards of $100 billion in, in fraud. U.S. Attorney Eric Barron says there has been a lot of fraud in Maryland, but it's impossible to know how many cases may end up in federal court. We've already brought uh, conspiracy charges and indictments uh, in, in the millions uh, where people are uh, not using that money for relief, um, but living, living large, frankly. In July, the I-Team reported on an indictment against four Baltimore residents accused of participating in a scheme that led to 160 fraudulent unemployment insurance claims, causing $3 million in losses. At that time, the Department of Labor told us it had flagged more than 2.4 million claims as potentially fraudulent. Unfortunately, there were many individuals and organized uh, uh, crime rings uh, frankly, taking advantage of money meant to help people. His team will determine if any cases of fraud can be integrated with the current violent crime strategy. People who are extremely violent, who are also engaged in pandemic fraud wrongdoing. Anyone or any organization that is involved in violent crime, if you are within the crosshairs of the federal government with respect to violent crime, you will be vetted for any and all priorities of our office, including pandemic fraud. Now, fraud teams are also getting set up in California and Florida. Reporting live from Midtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.